What's up, y'all? My name is uh, Ian Edwards, and welcome to the Soccer Comic Rant. Uh, you can hear this podcast at allthingscomedy.com, SoundCloud, iTunes, Lipson, Stitcher, and you can view it at the Ian Soccer Comic Rant Edwards on YouTube, I think. I'm still new at this. <laughs> still new at this. They got no excuse, so I should know. It should be Ian Soccer Comic Rant Edwards on YouTube. And if you're watching this, you're already there. And if you're listening to it, you can go there. Figure it out. <laughs> Doing all this technical stuff. And uh, our sponsor is onthevolleyapparel.com. If you go to their webpage, they got hoodies, tank tops, T-shirts, sweatshirts. And uh, they have hip-hop, soccer emblems combined. They got the Wu-Tang. They got the Tribe Called Quest. They got the OTV. They got some dope shirts. Dope sweatshirts, dope hoodies with dope logos in male and female variety. Use my promo code Comic Rant. You get 20% off. And uh, my homeboy Elvis will hook you up at onthevolleyapparel.com. And I'm not solo. Last week I was solo, but this week I got two guests. One of them is a usual suspect, uh, Chelsea fan, Stuart Thompson, comic. Hey man, good to see you. What's up, man? Life's good. Life's good. La- life ain't sure? bad, man. All right. Yeah, I mean, the game could have gone better this weekend, but oh, my, yeah. my life is is doing pretty well. At least you didn't lose. Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that. I'm oh, sure. well, speaking of, you have this, you got a <laughs> new guest on the show, but he does other podcasts with other comics at allthingscomedy.com. Xavier. How we doing, what up, fam? How you doing? We're good. We're good. good. Excited to be here, man. I had to wear my jersey, you know? Yeah. And what jersey is that again? That's an Atlas from the Mexican League. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad grew up teaching me this, and mm-hmm. I mean, they're horrible. Like I was telling you, they've never, I've never seen them win. I still got some hope, though. Hilarious. So your dad, you grew up, your dad teaching you losing yeah. early. Yeah, early. Right, he cool. said, this is, this, is how I, this is how I roll. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Just pass the hat. Every, right. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, like, light candles every time they play. Pretty much, yeah, <laughs> like the Mexican thing. You gotta pray for blessings. Gotta pray. Light a candle yeah. and pray. Yeah. It's Spurs. And you're a Spurs fan in the Yeah, for, 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 oh, for, the, for the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you, I got so fucking Kane's killing it. Uh-huh. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we, we'll get to it. <laughs> Let's go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to this this week. There's still I, hope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's hope. Nah. Yeah, I think I think you guys blew it. You could have, yeah. you, you know, you had the league in – insights but i don't know about now so normally on the podcast we go down the top of the table and then we'll stop at the teams that had champions week champions league games midweek and we'll talk about those games like the when we get to man U. so but let's take it from the top and just talk about man city and and i'm looking at them their premiership uh results charts and they got five green lights. They got five wins in a row. And they just beat Watford 3-1. And they just really handled their business. Handed. And uh, they took all the points. They're at the top of the table. It was a, st- it was a sterling weekend. Oh, yeah. Sterling yeah. gold. Yeah. I mean, that, that guy, for the longest time, was just in a... He was he, he would score for, for City, but he would always uh, be... He would have come up short playing for England. And now he just he turns on the juice every weekend. It's great. I mean, he's still coming up short for England. Yeah, but, but I mean, I don't think he like. But for club, he's. I think that that issue where he ran into that bout of like those ra- that racist attack against him. Mm-hmm. Like, I, him. I think that I feel like that. Stronger. I think that emboldened him, and I think that br- brought more people in his corner. And I think he just feels like he feels supported. Yeah, I think sometimes racism can be black people's spinach. <laughs> <laughs> and make you stronger. He's black Popeye now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think he'll do great for like the English team. Like, like even though he plays for City, I don't want City to win. Right. It, look, look, you know, it's like I'm still looking at. There's some benefits to it, and he's being coached by one of the best coaches in the world. And yeah. you know, coming in when the you know the the, the the European tournament comes up, he's gonna be playing for England. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, he's looking good. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that on the ch- on the Man City game, or you were crying? Uh, well, obviously I didn't want to win, game. but I mean, like I said, oh, yeah. I didn't expect that they've been winning every fuck every game. Yeah, they've been on top. Of oh, you could curse, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, I know. I just doesn't sound that fucking great, you know. <laughs> <laughs> At least no. curse, you did. right? No, <laughs> but I think you're in. obviously Liverpool choked. I mean, that that that's kind of I mm-hmm. kind of saw that as a kind of a plus. I didn't want both of them winning, right? Oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> 
So you, you, so you, you, what do you mean Liverpool choked? I mean, like weeks before. Yeah, yeah. Like with all the ties. Yeah, with so all the ties and stuff. They got like three ties in there. Mm-hmm. Which obviously, if you're one point behind, you can't be sleeping on that. Yeah, man. That's yeah, a lot of points to give up. Yeah, that's big. We're gonna get well. So we're gonna talk about. There's, there's nothing much to say about this, uh, Man City game. Yeah. They went down there. Uh, actually, Watford came up there, and Watford's a good team. They're in good form. Yeah, you know, for them, they're like they're they're a right solid, eight. Eight. solid eight. Solid eight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's hard to be eight. Like if you're eight, you're behind the top six. So there's just wolves in front of you, and yeah. wolves is good. So you know, Watford, and they could contend with wolves. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. You know, after, between Chelsea and Wolves, there's a how many points difference is there? There's a it's a a 13 point difference. Yeah, Wolves You is, can't catch up to that. Wolves is 7th and they're not they they're in no danger. Chelsea's in no danger of being caught by Wolves. Like that that 7th shit is just between them what is what between Wolves, Watford. And then I don't even think West Ham could catch them. So Yeah, it's it's a tough sell, but I mean it's I got to think the people at Wolverhampton are just elated. I mean, they just got promoted mm-hmm. and they're 7th. Right. It's, uh, that's just incredible. Right. I, I, if if that if the owner of Wolves is not doing backflips, like just on the daily, I don't know <laughs> how how he chooses to spend his day. Right. I mean, I want to I want to join you, but I'm not gonna talk about Wolves yet. I'm sure. a, I'm a hold off. We'll get there until we get there. Sure. Mr. Premature <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Liverpool next, yep. and they got back on a winning, you know. Got back to their winning ways, and Liverpool beats Burnley 4-2. And, you know, the, the Firmino got some goals. Sané got some goals. Mane got some goals. Yep. And uh, I think uh, Salah sets them up. Yeah. 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 Should be scoring, though. Should be sc- <laughs> I mean, why? Like, people I, – I don't I don't like when people feel that way. I mean, he is, doing, he is doing his part, obviously. Right. Like, he is doing his part. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's just what you expect from him. Yeah, but, I mean, two of those goals that happened, I don't mm-hmm. know if – I think one of them was one that Firmino scored and another one was one that Mane scored. Mm-hmm. Like, if they weren't there, Salah probably would have drawn the penalty kick because he was getting he was getting taken down in the box. or getting undressed. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he's getting <laughs> he's getting dressed down. And, Pickpocketed. Yeah, and but then he'd either get – he'd barely get the shot off or it, it would deflect in such a way that Mane or Firmino could score it. So, I mean, he – basically created two of those four goals yeah, so, yeah. I, mean, like, I think he created more I, th- I think when I saw the highlights sure. it's like three of them or maybe four yeah but, but but those two I mean were just like they're critical points where he's mm-hmm. doing a lot of the legwork in there mm-hmm. and they're just finishing off yeah uh, your, your statement just it, it struck a chord with how I felt last week when what well, Liverpool lost last week they drew last week and then True. they started talking about you know should they take out Salah like they get so dramatic you know, it's like this guy's got a lot of goals. You know, know what I mean? Just, yeah, they just want to win. And it's, you know, they just they, but the, they but the, win it's the, the media though. It's yeah. the media. It's like they like to like like crank up the tension yeah. for their own purposes. And it's like yeah, stop acting like you've never seen a guy like have a drought bef- spurt before and then pick back up. It's yeah. like stop panicking and creating more than it's. It's almost like if he was listening to you, you could actually get into his head and actually affect him more than. Oh, you it know. is it is affecting him. Let him listen to that, which he has to. I mean, I hope he doesn't. I mean, he got two, at least two great assists. Let me see how many, like how many credit, how much credit they gave him for. You guys talk while I look this thing up. I mean, Salah Salah scored forty two goals in the league last week last year. I mean, like, how do you? I mean, there, it'd be very difficult to top that. I mean, the fact that he's, I don't know how many goals he scored this this year but he's he had he, a decent amount yeah he's, he's he's in the race he's in the he's in contention to be you know recognized as one of the top scorers in the league this year i think he's probably behind aguero and uh and obama yang at least but i mean that that guy's i i love watching those three work together you know it's it's like what you know when i was watching suarez neymar and messi work together at barca you know but this is just you know what's nice is that like all these guys, I think before they were all working at Liverpool, they were they weren't as well known. I mean, Salah had been at Chelsea and he was at Roma, but now these guys are world class players, and it's because of this trio that they formed. It's a world cl- it's a world class three. What I like about it is like what you're saying about Chelsea, where Salah was there before, yeah, and he went to Roma, so he's like a cast off that 
ended up like he was turning into a swan, like a you know a duck that turned into a swan. And then Mane, Mane, I forgot where he transferred from from to to Liverpool. I feel like he was in like a German league or something. No, he was he was at Southampton. Southampton guy. And it. he got like eleven goals, and you know, and he, and he turned into something way more. It's not like they bought him saying. It, I'm, I'm sure he's giving them more than they thought. You yeah. Know? Like I saw the flashes at Southampton, but this is like, you know, this, this is a world class player right now. I, I don't think uh, he had any assists. I don't see any. Well, the, he got credit for none of it. I don't. He might know. not have got. What was I watching? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, they. I don't know if they credited him. But I mean, because he might have got. He might have been taking the ball down the uh, the field and you know getting gotten fouled. Maybe it deflected off of somebody. So yeah, I, I they thought, might not have credited him for the stats. Yeah, I thought I thought he I thought he had like some direct assists. I must have been watching some different different feed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is the anti sala stats. Yeah. out here right now. Yeah, maybe that's uh yeah why the media haters, is. bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe that's why the media is hating on him. They're just like, mm-hmm. well, I don't see any. Look at these numbers. Mm-hmm. And they're not there. But I mean, I I think they're not they're not watching the game if that's the case. Yeah, not the, not with the eyes I saw it with. Uh, let's go to Tottenham. They're number three. They got sixty one points, and now they're like uh, so. Liverpool has seventy three points. Yeah. Man City has seventy four, and Liverpool, I mean not, not Liverpool, Tottenham have sixty one points. They are twelve behind. That's four. Yeah, they're four games off of Jesus. Liverpool. Yeah. So. That's They're like good. from seven to six. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's going to be, yeah, it's a big drop off. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think there's a you know there's that fight for f- the to win the league and there's a you know we're going to see there's a pretty decent fight for you know third and fourth place. Tottenham is susceptible now to get ass grabbed by Arsenal, Man United, and Chelsea, and before they were safely in third, safely. and they and they were in a position to ass grab. Uh, Man City Liverpool, and Liverpool, yeah, and now they're like sticking their if ass out at a carnival, yeah. about to get spanked. If they would have won that one, they them. would have been at sixty-four, which is only ten away. Yeah, which is not. But, but that's terrible. That I, yeah, that's still terrible. Yeah, still for terrible. where they were. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you see the game? No, yeah, I watched it. Yeah. What do you think of what are your performance? Hmm? What do you think of your performance <laughs> of your team? <laughs> I mean, I, th- I thought they had it in the beginning. Yeah, they looked strong. They, they looked strong in yeah, the beginning, yeah. Yeah. and uh-huh. then just fucking lost it. Yeah, because yeah, didn't, didn't put it away. Yeah, they had all. They could have scored a lot. Mm-hmm. They could. They had a couple chances to score, and they just. Which is funny. Like that's like a statement you make. Like when a big team plays a mid-table team or a lower-table team, and that that lower-table team doesn't take their chances. You're like, you got to take your chances against those teams because you're not going to get that many of them. Mm-hmm. And then Spurs is the team in the top of the table that didn't take their chances against the lower table team and yep. they end up paying for something. They end up paying in a way that normally the lower table you know team should have pays. Yeah. yeah. And you know that Ward Prowse free kick, what do you think of it? <laughs> <laughs> it? It is what it is, man. <laughs> I, I mean mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, it's it's it's, it's he did that to us, man. You, I'll say, it's beautiful goal. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Gorgeous goal. Yeah, I man, that guy, that guy's. I, I, I think I saw rainbow colors on it. That's how <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> the curve of it, like a rainbow. I think yeah. I saw like I saw some red, some yellow, some, some green. Like it, it just like curved like it a rainbow. Just, yeah. Yeah, man. That like, was, watch it again in slow motion. You see the rainbow. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think Larice even could go for it. I think he was just. It was just perfect. Ah, yeah. It was, I didn't even look I think like the same he would, thing happened to De Gea. It's just like ah, yeah, yeah. got nothing on there it. There was a they 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 showed an angle of it, <laughs> like so from so the camera is behind the goalkeeper behind the goal. Mm-hmm. So then you see him crouching, and then he's like crouching because he wants to spring, but then his wall is in front of him. He can't see it, so he can't see the ball, and maybe he's crouching to see through the legs. But by They've the time doing that thing where it's like those straight shots at the bottom, so you uh-huh. gotta be careful of those. Yeah, two. and then you gotta be careful of that shit too. Yeah, it's it's difficult, man. People are getting good at free kicks again. Yeah, so. again, that's, that's funny. Yeah, because it felt like that went away, right? Well, it felt like Beckham was the only guy who could do that for a long time. 
Yeah, Not it was like it was Roberto there, Carlos. Roberto yeah, Carlos was yeah. good at that shit. He would even get that, you know, that one video yeah. where it looks like it goes over yeah, the wall. Yeah. That shit's crazy. Yeah, I mean, different style for sure. Yeah. But yeah, he had you know he had the power in the way that David Luiz kind of has that now. Or Alex when he was at Chelsea a few years ago, he could do that oh, okay. once in a while. From, yeah, whatever happened to Alex? I don't know, man. I mean, yeah. I, I assume a lot of those guys just go to like Asia. Like yeah, <laughs> that's where the money's at. Yeah, yeah that's where that's the money's where, at. Yeah. But I think it's where the yen at. Is it yen? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Where the yuan at? <laughs> uh, the yeah, I think so. Beckham had that curve though. That I think a lot of other players, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo. We're talking Ward, about Ward football, Prowse. right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so Be- we set that curve. Yeah, Beckham had this <laughs> had this curve that like no one had quite figured out. Mm-hmm. But now all these other players um, have kind of you know, have figured out the formula. When I first started doing the podcast, it's like maybe like four years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, what's his name? Galern was telling me about Jorginho, and I forgot who he was playing for at the time. Mm. But his thing, you know how the, there's the rainbow curve? Yeah. His, he had the that way curve. Oh, like with the outside, outside of the, the foot? Yeah, the yeah, outside of the foot. Yeah, yeah. So, so to go over the wall and then, dip out that way and I, I was like in denial about it but that is dude you gotta look at that curve unbelievable man. yeah like <laughs> that shit is unbelievable yeah <laughs> and then you know Messi was taking good free kicks and Ronaldo was taking good free kicks there was some but but they, they did feel like I identify with that statement like I, they, I felt like there was a time when there was a drought in good free kickers but yeah. even like a shitty team I'm not I guess yeah like below standard to my level sure. of team that I like Mm -hmm. Southampton has Ward Prowls who's probably going to get snatched up yeah I don't I don't see him staying there I mean I could see him being there next year but I don't know but after that sorry Lee that's Lee's team Southampton but you won (laughs) this weekend (laughs) we'll get to that yeah Yeah. enjoy that yeah but uh yeah so so Tottenham and then we go into Arsenal motherfuckers man (laughs) (laughs) mixed blessings this past week yeah I mean so Arsenal does what they got to do at the Emirates, and they beat Man U two nothing. Mm-hmm. The the Shaka goal that talking about curves. Yeah, I mean that that knuckle, the k- knuckle corkscrew, whatever the yeah. hell that was that he didn't even mean to do. Mm-hmm. Let's just face it, Shaka. He se- he seemed uh, pleasantly surprised. He's like, oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, I wonder if I'll ever be able to do that again. I'm glad that happened in the game. De Gea looked caught off guard. Yeah, for and sure. I, at first, it like a goalkeeping error. Yeah, like but, he misplaced his stance or whatever. Yeah, but then you saw the ball did go the way he w- was going in, and that shit just like. Yeah. yeah. It, didn't look at, it didn't ricochet off anybody. I know that's right. been a lot of goals. It looked like a ricochet, really. ricochet. That's how much it curved. Yeah. It looked like a, a girl canceling a date on your last minute. <laughs> Yeah, the hair is just like, all right, I'm out the door. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, like get a text before you open the door. Oh, shit. And then, yeah. I put on cologne for this. Yeah, <laughs> cologne for this. I was out in the rain. <laughs> it just went the other way. I bought an umbrella for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, I mean, what? I, it, it felt like a soft PK. That the, was softest PK I've seen. The, I'm, the, the, the foul by Fred. I know, and and that's a that's another thing. But it's all how the ref sees it, though, right? Yeah, that's another. I, I, so, so can I complain about <laughs> soft PKs based on what happened midweek? But I don't think that was a soft PK midweek. But uh, with, we'll, the, with the Champions we'll, League, in the Champions League, but we'll we'll get to that. I'll, like, if you guys who are not Man U fans want to say that's a soft penalty, I'll take it. How about that? Well. It wouldn't if it was anywhere not uh, not inside the box. It wouldn't have been a, it wouldn't have been a foul or nothing. He might that that ref. I don't was, think so. No, you're right because that ref, which, which is weird. That ref let a lot of stuff play that game. That's what I'm like, saying. Like there were a lot of players on the ground. Like and he's like, and then at that moment he chooses to. But it, I can't. It, it was a soft penalty. Mm-hmm. So they were up two nothing by the seventieth minute. But mm-hmm. we still would have lost one nothing. It, 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 so yeah, it didn't. It, it, it didn't matter. Yeah, I mean it's hard to like. Go into the hypothetical, like how could, would have how would Man U have played had they not conceded the second goal? But yeah, it wasn't that type of game. It didn't seem like Man U was getting the chances that they usually get when they're firing on all cylinders. I thought we got chances a lot, like right after they scored, mm-hmm. and then in the early in the second half, mm-hmm. I felt like we created a decent amount of chances, and like Lukaku got through on a, a one on two with him and the keeper and the mm-hmm. defender. 
and Rashford had one and Lukaku had one early, like in the in the first half that he put on the post. And yeah. uh but but what I did like about the game is listen, you gotta be real, this is a premiership. You're gonna lose a game. There's no way you're gonna win that many games in a row. Yeah. And Especially when you're in the Champions League. Uh, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. in the Champions yeah, League. But in the Premiership, they just haven't lost a game since Solskjaer got there. Yeah. Like, I can't, I lost count of how many games it is. Yeah, we like haven't lost a game in the Premiership since December. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a pretty good Man City record. can't say that. We have the best record in the league since December. Yeah. So the loss was coming. It was to, and, uh, I mean, I mean, we really wanted those points. Yeah. Of all the points. Because you, if you take three from Arsenal, then they can't get them back. And it's then, six for you. And then, and then Tottenham lose. And then Tottenham lose. lose so, so, you're like so, so even though we lost, I want to thank Chelsea and Spurs for their generosity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys for, for like, you know what? Man, you's going to need some help catching us. <laughs> so let's, let's drop points. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make this a drop point party and this is so this is this is a four horse race. I will I will say for third and fourth. I don't I don't say nice things about Arsenal, but the one thing I think that has really helped is the return of Koscielny. Because Koscielny was injured for a lot of the mm -hmm. season and he can, he comes back and he's he's putting in this work and he's really um I think he's tightened up Arsenal's defense mm -hmm. uh, tremendously. He's helped as a defender. That that uh -huh. like that I notice that kind of stuff when mm -hmm. I watch games. Yeah, he's helped, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, he missed the World Cup. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. he could have had a like a, but he helped and Kalasinac. Yeah, that guy is just flying down the left. Just that guy, that guy's a freight train. Yeah, he, and he's like he's being effective, and even in games that they lost, I've been noticing him. So he he stood out in this game, but uh, also just for the Man U standpoint. So just for, just for Arsenal to win a game like this, this is big for them, you know, with their crying face coach. <laughs> like he's he he cries more than a a Madonna statue, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, like he'll he'll like he'll be in his coffin and in, in his when he's dead and there's be tears coming he's down his coming face. Down. <laughs> his eyes will still be like how like, like so I'm yeah, he couldn't take this loss. But I, I wonder how Arsenal fans feel like they're fourth, you know, they have a chance to be finished. They above Tottenham, they're they're rivals, you know. Yeah. They're one point behind them, and then. Uh, but I I did like I think this was despite the penalty, this was probably Fred's best game. Yeah, probably for us, and he looked. That's the first time he looked like he was up to speed, and he had passes where he was, you know, he still gave a ball a little bit, but a lot like, less. I, I think Man U played well. Real, real I, well, I don't think Arsenal deserved the win. Yeah. They got lucky with that goal, mm -hmm. and that was a soft PK. Right. That, that's so, what I, that's I, what I, I thought, I, I, I mean, a draw would have been, honestly, probably mm -hmm. the best, in my opinion. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's soccer. Yeah. They got a soft PK, but, and that goal is a goal. But Now, I agree with you 100%, but then I think back to last season when we beat them 2 nothing, and they got had all the shots, and the, they should have played better than us and should have won the game. You got to capitalize. Yeah, you got to capitalize. But – uh. And then Lukaku, he didn't score, but I felt like his trapping got, his trapping drives me crazy. Even when he scores two goals a game, I'm like, motherfucker, trap the ball. Because all those missed traps, those are other goals to me. Yeah. <laughs> growing, yeah. growing up, we would call those elephant touches. <laughs> elephant you, touches. <laughs> you trap and the ball just goes. <laughs> it's like he's trapping the ball away. with this. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, I got, like, last, like he couldn't trap a ball with no air in it sometimes. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it would just sail off his. It's like, you, you got, is the ball a magnet and then your shoes are magnets? Yeah, and the both, magnets just propel. They're, like, bo they're both north. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're both north. Especially right? when you see how some of them do it. Mm -hmm. All like, like professional, yeah. like, like like if they got like a perfect hand mm. and he can't even put his right. foot on it. But he he did have a great. That's the thing. But he this game, it's so funny. The game where he trapped the best, he didn't score. So we might have to go back to asking him to stop learning how to trap the fucking ball, <laughs> so he can score some goals. Because Pogba in the first half sent one right over to him, and he just like you know it's like it's when you on your wedding night when you just put your wife in right. the bed for the first time, <laughs> or you're putting your kids to sleep. Just, and just put it down softly. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I wouldn't trust Lukaku with my baby. No, <laughs> you, you can't hold my baby, man. 
because you fucking dropped that shit hard. <laughs> Threw my baby in the river. <laughs> yeah. So we lose, but uh, if Fred can play up to that level and better, I'll be happy, and we'll have him and Herrera back. And uh, we'll have Herrera back plus him. Uh, I think Marshall came to the game, so I think his injuries uh, is kind of going away, which is good. We need him for then. And uh, let's just talk. We didn't. So how do how let's go to Spurs in Champions League? They got through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, you 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 perked up. <laughs> so yeah. T- I mean, talk about your team. I mean, we screwed up the Premier League, uh, Premiership, how you said, but at least uh, we still got a chance in Champions League. Right. I think because I mean, I think they should put all their marbles on that, even though I still don't think it will win. <laughs> Might as well. You got nothing to lose. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They got nothing to lose, but, but I. St- I I still think when they go on the pitch, they should play to win every game. That's my thing is I don't care if it's for the fucking Champions League. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's for the World Cup. I don't give a fuck. It's right. play to win. Like right. Don't sit here and say, well, like, sir, like uh, who was the guy who got a yellow card on purpose expecting to play the next game and that doesn't happen? Shit like that. Like, don't be expecting who was for... That? Um, a Spurs guy? No. It was in the, in the Real Madrid game. Oh, against oh. Ajax? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about uh, Ramos? Ramos, yeah. He sat there and got and got it. He said he did it on purpose so mm-hmm. that that yellow card would, would disappear for the second round, but he never went to the second round. It's like, stop thinking about the That's future. That's good math. Yeah, but start, I mean. But if, it, if, it's, if it's one of those yellow cards that saves your team from going down a goal, like, you know, when you take one okay, for the yeah, team. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. But they're out. Yeah, yeah they're out. Ajax, I saw that game. Ooh. Like, yeah. <laughs> was, I think that was a good game. It was a good game because I, I didn't. I wanted to see the Spurs game. That was the same day, right? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see the Spurs game. My and and I'm a Real Madrid fan, but I was like, they're gonna, they already won away. They're gonna win home. This is gonna be easy. I'm, I'm like completely disrespecting Ajax. <laughs> yeah. I just want to see. I wanted to see Jordan Sancho play because yeah. we sure. might buy him. So I'm scouting so I can call. Fergie and him. <laughs> hey man, don't be disrespectful and tell him, hey, yeah, get him. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So then that game came on. So I'm like, I'm right, watch this. And man, uh, Ajax lit that fucking the stadium up. Yeah. Like every yeah. time they scored, you know how Real Madrid wears black? I kept thinking it was Real Madrid. Yeah. They, I was like, yo, wait up. Is mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. Is that Ajax? I was like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. It was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, at a certain point, those all the white that the uh, fans were wearing was just <laughs> surrender flags. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that those first two goals were essentially the same type of play. Mm-hmm. You know, the, you know, coming up on the right, cutting in, and you know, just quick cross in or you know, quick cut, and then and then a goal. Uh, that third goal, I'm trying to remember that that third goal that um, was scored by Ajax, but um, but the last goal. I mean that that may be the best set piece. I try. It's, it's goal been. A, it's been a, did you have the hi, the highlights? Yeah, I got the, the highlights. Let me, see, yeah, yeah. let me see the goal. That may be the best set piece goal I've seen all season. Uh, I mean, oh, the free kick. The free kick. I don't remember who the guy is. He just he looks like a guy an extra on Vikings. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He's. <laughs> and I think they subbed him out. He's an older guy too. Now it was his. He, yeah, and he's he, like thirty something. Yeah, years and old. the the announcers couldn't believe. It. It was like, did he mean to do that? Because it was it was the perfect pocket to get not only over the wall but over Courtois, you know that that the spider monkey that he is, and 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 dip in. Well, let's see, let's corner. see all the goals. Yeah. So th- I, at this point, that was just the first. That was right off the bat. It was. Right. Uh, they, they, they're hitting the post. Yeah. Yeah. They're like peppering That's it. Casemiro. This is yeah. the first one right here. I think. This is all embarrassment. That, well, that's that's just a good one time touch. That's yeah, too much containing. They just got raided. Yeah. Cadic assist, boom. They do that in practice every day. Every day. Yep. All day. Yeah, so And Tadic had a game, bro. Yeah, Tadic set up both of these first goals. Oh, and he scored the third goal. Yeah, that's right. Guess what guess what's on sale the, in big time in Europe now? Tadic. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's going to what's going to be hard to get some tattish. It's going to be tough <laughs> to get you. And this is the this is the shit that the one after this. Yeah, man. He so yeah, he does a nice sort of you know Maradona to set up. Right, so goal. look at this break. What you, see that? What would you think about that handball? Nah, that's not uh, handball. That's not handball, right? Yeah. That's that, that's that's uh, good. Not like the other he, ones, right? He, he's right. Hold, he's holding it close to, to his, his body. body. 
Yeah. That's that's a normal position for your hand to be. And oh then, shit. That was the one you were talking about, that third one. Yeah. Yeah. But But it was more than three, right? Yeah, it was four. It's four one. Yeah. Four one. Yeah. So that's the third goal. It puts Nacho on the ground. All right. Yeah, it just just unbelievable. I was just lashing them. Yeah. And look look at the and that was out. That was out. That was that out. Was that was before that goal. Out. Yeah, and that created that. I remember that. That was like, damn. That's when I felt bad for Madrid. Okay, and then Asensio comes back. Right, because they just subbed him in, I think. Yeah, he's a good player. I mean, it's and it was a, and it was a good goal, but um, yeah, I mean, didn't seem didn't seem like Madrid was making the types of chances and the types of just relentless attacks that they're used to making. So, so I think what happened to the to the Tadish assist. We dribbled through two players yeah. and turned. That was the second and goal. And period. Like, oh, I didn't see yeah. that in the, the. They didn't. They cut the setup they must out. Have cut the setup uh, out. That was the. That was the goal. Yeah. 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 See the last one. And then that's the last one. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's, oh. Yeah. They, that was so beautiful. They, so they get fouled. Just you know, keeper's right, just outside the box, and this guy just it could not. He have might been. have. Yeah. I don't Look, think you can blame the goalie on that. I think no, that was I mean, just perfect. It's, that's just the one. That's the one place he doesn't have covered completely you see all the those madrid players are just standing there just like just could could not believe it uh which i'm i i've just i don't think i've seen a better i've seen very few better goals maybe the andros townsend goal from crystal palace against man city but that's more the context of it but this is i think this is more interesting it's, it's pretty yeah it's i mean it was just an amazing day yeah for ajax just period yeah. well like, then i felt bad for him because then man you took the fucking Took the news from them. Oh because yeah, their, yeah. their comeback so, was way better. I mean, so, so listen, just just to get to the best, and let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm sitting in my living room. First of all, if you listen to the last podcast and the one before, the one the, I was with Martin, and he's like, so he's telling me it's over. I said it ain't over, even <laughs> after it's over. And then last week, I was like, I think we could beat them, but not or tie but not have enough score enough goals to get through. Yeah. And boy was I wrong. Cause we went to PSG. Kids. <laughs> injuries. Pogba on a red card. Mm -hmm. Like like Pereira had barely starting to like he just got over like that slip at Burnley the week before. Mm -hmm. You know, against what was that? Who was that against Crystal Palace or Southampton, I think. And then so then he has to start. McTominay has to start. It's just, and they go up against this team that I know they're missing. And I'm not gonna get crazy. They were missing Cavani and Neymar. It was the second division. It was the second squad team. I don't think. On, it, yeah. on PSG. No, on on. Um, oh, for, for sure. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't a full squad. No, and we, they we got we're a, missing ten players. They got a million dollar team. They got this team. They literally handcrafted to make it perfect team, and they they thought they had it in the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I think they, I think they, they went and man, the, the the shock of that loss, two chills face, the 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 the, the, oh, the coach, the, the coach, T Tuchel, yeah, yeah you Tuchel. think he's getting fired? I don't think so. They they but shouldn't. I don't think they should. It's just I mean, they're winning. They're winning the league by leaps but and downs. But they they can every coach they get wins the league and loses championship. Yeah. They want they want the no, Champions yeah. League. Yeah. They, so, but, but the, if they fired but him they, as a coach, mm -hmm. if they fired him and then I'm a coach looking to get, to be a coach for PSG, I'm scared that if I don't win the Champions League, I'm getting fired again. Yeah, but you that just you just a, you just take the money, you yeah, win the league, true. and and you get another job. Yeah, that's what all of them do. Yeah, because yeah. I mean it's like the second time they do that after Champions League, they get a new guy. Yeah, I mean they, they want they want somebody that could, but you have to like probably stick with Tuchel. I, I believe in him, but. He fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> he definitely fucked up. Well, I mean, the I mean, the team just you know they started out lazy. They yeah, start, you know they, you know Lukaku got the first goal in the first two minutes. How'd you feel about that? Right oh, off let's the see, two let's, minutes. Let's see it. Yeah. Like, so I missed the first eight minutes. So when it when it came on, and oh, you see we're well, okay. one up up, I said, well, that's what you need. That's yeah. what you need. Yeah, and that's the best start. To yeah, get so that was lineup. It was a uh, four four. Two for Real Madrid, I think. I mean, for Manu, I think that's how they started. Yeah, the, uh, looking like it. And I like, and oh, four three three. Four four three three. Well, did we start with Smallin? Yeah, that was weird to see Lindelof out wide, but I like 
the imagination of Solskjaer and what he does sometimes. Like, I've seen him put Young and then Young there. Fuck it, man. That's that's pretty, that's pretty good. Ballsy. Like, he, j he fortified us with, like, defensively, you know? So I, I see what he was doing. Yeah. There it is. Minute, yeah, no, really capi capitalized, he capitalized on um, that wide uh, right back. Right. But this, see, pause it for a second. So that's the beauty of this is this is the the day before Lukaku learned how to trap the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> trapping had not interfered with his goal scoring powers. But he said in an interview after the game that uh, him and Rashford were being interviewed. And I read it on the Manu website. And he's like, he told Rashford, which is another complaint about Lukaku that I had. Because sometimes, like, after he would take a shot, he wouldn't follow the shot, and he'd stand there, like... Or if he made one of his shitty passes, and he's embarrassed, and he want, wanted to blame it on one of his players for not mm. being in this impossible spot yeah. that they could have never gotten to, he'll throw his arms up. He's like, nah, motherfucker, there's no stupid people in the stadium. <laughs> That's a horrendous <laughs> pass. Mm -hmm. But... He said to Rashford, "Is like if you when you press, you know." Rashford told him, "Press when I press," and that's the result of that. Yeah. Press yeah. when he press, and he, and now he knows he's been scoring scavenger goals, and which is great coaching from Solskjaer because I remember Solskjaer saying in the press conference a few games ago that my team, like Rashford and them, have to learn how to score the ugly goals. Yeah, and that is an ugly goal, and Lukaku in the last few weeks has scored some ugly goals like the Buffon spill yeah, later yeah, on yeah. it's an ugly goal so this is this is just coaching yeah yeah but the thing is so I think they were playing 4-4-2 mm. which gives Lukaku the chance to go up forward right because it gives them the four at the bottom mm -hmm. yeah. the whole four which is I think which is great so the lineup's just bullshit I thought it's the just, one right just, there was just, it's just a poker. It's yeah, because I thought it was two, mm -hmm. and then four, 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 which I, is why I think he was allowed to make that that instant cut I, at that moment. I think Solskjaer is smart, and I'm not great with formations and lineups. I think for, I'm listen, from what I'm listening to what you're saying, I feel like he says we're a flex, so we go from four, four two to what four three three. Yeah. yeah. So we so we, whenever we need to, we flex in and out of it instead of just being this one rigid thing, which and then we have to have a speech in order for me to change it. Like, there's a signal, we switch to this. We switch, it's like a train track. I mean, they're there you know? every day. 20, yeah. That's their 24-7. They should have yeah. it like just like that. But the Mourinho didn't have it like that. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy, this is coaching. Dealing with adversity. And boom, gets around Buffon, old Buffon. Feel old, bad. old cat. And I feel bad for him because he left Juvent Juventus to go to a team to have a chance to... To win again. <laughs> to win the Champions League because this is what he wants. It's not happening. Yeah. And then the way he lost, and then these guys, it's just like a razor. You just came through. Fucking, M that's Mbappe? That's uh, Bernat. Bernat, all right. Uh, Mbappe crossed it. Crossed it, yeah. yeah. And then he just saw it through us, and then we're like, ah, oh, shit. Man. Smalling looks terrible with his hair like that when he's, like, <laughs> trying to catch up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then there goes Lukaku, the ugly goals, scavenger style. And then do you, there you see Buffon having a Lukaku trapping problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an, that's an elephant <laughs> trap with your hands. Yeah. What do, you, do you think you, bl you blame uh, Buffon on that? Nah, look, th look this, when I saw this, I, I'm like, how did this happen? It's like the, the Xhaka shot. Mm -hmm. Like... That ball knuckled too, but not as much. Yeah. And it, it so it's so. I think this one hits the floor before it, it gets it to the knuckles, ball. hits yeah. the floor before it hits Buffon, yeah. and then so then it it, it changes. And on it's him. rainy and it's cold. Right. So yeah. I mean, it, I mean, there's no excuse, but it is a slippery night. And mm -hmm. Mbappe fell twice too. Yeah. Right. So just saying, it's a, it's you can't really. I mean, you blame him, and he takes fault for it. He puts up his hands, and he's like, mm -hmm. "That was my fuck up." Mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean. But it wasn't a stra as straightforward. Yeah, it as, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get yeah. that. Rashford did hit it with great pace. Right. So I mean, that's it's just going to make it difficult for any keeper. Right. And, and and I think what people are not noticing is the form. If you look at the form with which he took that shot, that's how Ronaldo used to take his shots. And his shots, you can't hold them. You know, go they bounce on goalkeepers a lot. And I think he's 
practicing the same style as Ronaldo where you're not lifting your foot all the way back and coming through it, but you're getting power yeah. from un, an underestimated amount of power and curve from other places. Mm. So, and uh, I'm great for, you know, now your team is made, is recognizing, and that's another statement he said. I said, I'm going to follow all your shots, which was something that bugged me about Lukaku, but now he's following shots. You're not throwing your hand up, go, watching the game yeah. like you're a fan in the fucking stand. You're continuing until the whistle blows. And now that you mentioned mm -hmm. that, I actually think that's kind of smart. They might be looking at for it to hit the floor before it gets yeah. to. Because these goalies are he, fucking he pros knows now. A normal yeah. shot is mm -hmm. easy for them to grab, right. especially these yeah. fuck the ones in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. All the they're they're world star goalies. So I think it is. They're trying to find a way mm -hmm. where it is. Because I've been hearing like I don't really play anymore, mm -hmm. but now they'll even put it where like the you put air in the ball. They'll put that there or on top because it'll make the ball move different. How do they do that? What do you mean? Um, so you know where like where you put the air, the the valve. Mm -hmm. My homie is telling me that even the professionals, mm -hmm. they have to place it at a certain angle because if they hit it where they don't practice, it moves differently. They're getting like that specific where like how are they Tom Brady in the ball? You pretty the much. Soccer ball? Yeah, they're, yeah. It's, there's gonna which be is, a, which is yeah. fucking weird, but deflate gate you they, hits you up. Deflating, they are over inflating. Yeah, yeah. I just like I don't know. I just think. Like, you're, ha you're, you're more of a team now. Like, you, so you're Rashford, I'm Lukaku, and I'm seeing your shots in practice. I'm seeing the goalkeepers, De Gea, having trouble with it. And I'm like, oh, I can, and, and yeah, you can do what you say, like hit it short. And like you said, it's raining, and, and it, you could do it for the bounce. So it's like, oh, this is a good idea to follow up on these things. I'll, I'll take these seconds, you know, yeah. you know? Like, 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 let's. I'll be your wingman for your shot. Like, this, let's see if I can get something out of this. You know, so that that's just great. You know, football. And so then that made it what two one. Yeah, two one right there. And then that scared me because I thought it was a goal, but then he, the the Maria was offside. Yeah. Clearly, Clearly. Yeah. but that M Mbappe. Look at that class, man. Yeah, I mean that. Had it been just the timing been slightly different, mm -hmm. I mean, it, you know, it could be. It could he wouldn't have got to it. Mar Di Maria wouldn't have got to it. You don't think so? Nah. And then he's celebrating. He's like, fuck you. You used to play for Man U for a hot second. You didn't play that good. Try to <laughs> score on us. Go fuck yourself. And now this to me. Well, yeah. Well, definitely a handball. I want to see this again. This is what he did. This is what he did. So, uh, I don't know where the camera's at. So it's like, <laughs> so you're taking a shot. Right? Yeah. You're taking a shot. I'm going to turn my back. Right? Oops. Yep. Put Hits you right off. there. Put you your, never put your back. First rule in soccer, don't ever turn your back on the wall. But you can, but right. don't pretend you don't know where you, you – don't, don't, I'm not – you know, the referee's like, nah, bro. You can't – you could you – could. <laughs> but the, the <laughs> argument is – the argument is you can't jump. It's weird to jump without putting your hands up. Right. That's the only argument of that. That still went up a little up, though. Went up a little bit. But not that. Yeah, I do agree. That's the only yeah. argument is, that is they're saying it's hard to jump. But you can. That. I, I th yeah. yeah I mean, you, I've, seen, I've seen players do it appropriately, and this one was outside the realm of appropriateness. It's, it's real close, but... Yeah. Fuck v that guy. VAR without v without VAR, you wouldn't have had that. Fuck that guy. Kim, yes, Kim. What's his name? Kim Pembe. Kim Pembe. Kim Fuck Pembe. that guy. Pembe, yeah. This guy <laughs> scored one of the goals of Old Trafford after he should have gotten two yellows, right? So, and then there people are like soft penalty. This guy, if he got two yellows at Old Trafford, uh, they wouldn't have scored. They would They would only had one goal, and he wouldn't have been in this game if justice had prevailed. So then if he wasn't in this game, he wouldn't have handed the ball in this game. So it's like the soccer god said, we're gonna make things fair. So you're gonna escape not getting the yellow card, the second yellow card in that game, because he clearly dragged. I forgot who it was down. I, yeah, I don't remember the fouls. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember them. Yeah. And so. Grudge, grudge master. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. easy grudge. That's an easy grudge to keep. I keep that all day. I was hearing that there's going to be new rules, right? Uh, new rules regarding what? The handballs. You, well, they're looking into what, into being more specific about what qualifies a handball and what doesn't. They're, I heard they're trying that to make if it touches 
a hand in the box, it's going to be a penalty no matter what. Period. Mm. Period. There's no such thing as if, you know how sometimes you'll header it and it'll rebound into someone's hand. It's not really like you didn't intentionally do that. Yeah, ball the They hand. shouldn't do it. It'll that. be a I, – I don't think so, but they're making because it seem I'll like kick the, ball, the ball. I'll kick the ball yeah. on your hand. Or if you, or if you get – hit like this and the, and your yeah. hands right at your chest i mean just I don't leave it the way it is it's just leave it the way it is this is <laughs> fine this is fine just this here's the thing there's no such thing as perfection yeah. you know what i mean it, it things work for the most part it's like your car breaks or let's think of something that your computer works but it's going to get bugs you don't mm-hmm. th- revamp the whole thing that's been working because of the bugs, you know. I call I mean? Tim Cook every time my computer does not work. I call, Tim Cook. He's the CEO of Apple. I call, I call. I call. I call him personally. Let me get like, his hey, number. Yeah. <laughs> I'll DM it yeah, to see, you. See, like <laughs> this. The other one's a soft PK. The one the Arsenal got. All right. This is a straight PK. Yeah. Look. There's, look. There's, look. There's, look. Look. Like, like, yeah. Look at your hands. Look at your. You're a soccer player. You've been playing soccer your whole life. I hear what Rio said, but this is a handball. Because, because it's almost like the handball. Remember when we was watching the World Cup final, right? And they call that handball on uh, well, Croatia, mm-hmm. and the you know, player would try to act like his arm was accidentally out there, but it's just uh, like out above. I was like, this that handball reminds me of the back version of this one. Yeah, this one reminds me. That's a handball, man. Uh, that, that, that solid one free swing. Yeah, yeah. What do you want the ref to do? The guy's taking a shot on goal. Yeah. What is your fucking hand doing there? So. He, he blew it for his team, and I know he hurt. He's he'll but it. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. But peace, PSG. Yep. This, this was this was so amazing. I was in my living room by myself. <laughs> then I had to hit up Lee, whose team I just shit on via FaceTime on uh, on Instagram, and like he was in the middle of a show. I was just like, I had to talk to somebody. Oh, uh, this shit was just like. And then crazy. this, he hits that shit like a boss. Yeah. It's a good PK. Yeah, it's a good PK. He is actually. I mean, and look he, at that. He, he hasn't taken a PK for Menu, hasn't he? That's the first one ever. I mean, yeah, it's usually Pogba, which you know those PKs take like eight minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, he did a good job. Yeah. That, they they, they, were ma- they made sure to uh, remark how the da- the age difference between Rashford and, and Buffon. Buffon is like a twenty year age difference. It's like because Rashford I think is twenty one and Buffon's forty one. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, man. I, I mean, good for Man U. I mean, let's see who they end up playing yes. in the quarterfinals. Man, imagine if you guys would have lost both of them. That would have been bad. But those are games I expected us yeah. to, to to lose. Like, like we've won but all the games we've expected to lose. Right? And we've drawn one of the games we expected to lose. So, I mean, and then this is – like a mixed bag because we just beat them and then we just lost to Arsenal. But here's the crazy thing. I was in a coffee shop this morning. I haven't slept all weekend. <laughs> want me to brag against my, my brag yeah. about my no sleep yeah, schedule? Yeah, let me pick up this coffee shop name off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks, isn't it? Starbucks <laughs> Reserve on Hillhurst. This ain't no regular Starbucks. <laughs> so I went to Mammoth this weekend to okay. do shows. Okay. How's that? Drove it. Dope. 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 The Mammoth show was over. They one in Bishop. It's a small town afterwards. The audience was just talking to me, so I just went with it. Mm-hmm. And uh, this lady kept on yelling, welcome to Bishop, 20 times <laughs> throughout the show. Then she came to say something to me. I'm, there's no stage. I'm standing on the floor level with everybody by the bar. And she comes up down the aisle to talk to me. So I'm listening to her. And then she grabs the mic. And she's strong as shit. I don't know what they feed women in Bishop. <laughs> I had to like wrestle it from her. It was that type of show. Cool. Oh, shit. So then I drove, woke up six o'clock Sunday morning, drove back here. That's mm. four hours away. Yeah. And uh, then I had to go to the MLS game, LAFC versus Portland. Saw that game. Uh, if you've never been to an LAFC game, you've been, right? Yeah, I think 
they're they're not a not, they're not a galaxy. They're not a galaxy game. Yeah, they're is, a whole different fucking. This is not your mother's it. galaxy. Yeah, this, this is, is fucking the real dope. Deal. Yeah, especially yeah. if you sit in the cool spots. Yeah, it gets fucking people. I don't even think there are any bad spots. Yeah, but there's this one spot mm-hmm. where they got the flag going on. Oh, it's, a, sure. it's a team crowd. Yeah, the that's ch- where the I cheer sat. Section, yeah, yeah, that's where I sat. And I'm not gonna lie, I had yeah. a lot of fun. And I've never, I'm not, no offense against the MLS, I've never really had a great time at an MLS game. They're kind of just yeah. kind of dull. This was actually the game wasn't that great, but the vibe was good. People were drinking. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, Good. definitely. I went to I went to a few Galaxy games, but once I went to one LAFC game, my relationship with the Galaxy was over. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I've done. seen Beckham play for the Galaxy, and I've seen, mm-hmm. you know, that you know, and yesterday Carlos Vela was going at it. He was like just making those runs and putting the the Portland team their defense and midfield under pressure. And, it, and I saw him making tackles and winning the ball back. So I think when I left, it was like 3-1 because I had to go to like a, 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 a screening of the last episode of Crashing. It got canceled, but said I had like a little party. And then I had to come home and write. Right. And then I slept for two hours, woke up at three, started writing because I had this thing that was due before I left for Mammoth and I didn't finish it. Mm. So then I went to Starbucks because it opens at 5.30 in the morning. Mm. And f- started right in there, and then started watching the games after I finished the thing. Okay. And I forgot why I was bragging about all that. So, I, th- I think you're talking yeah. about <laughs> bragging about you being tired. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> tired. I, I will tired every fucking body. <laughs> Challenge me right now. <laughs> what I was gonna tell you is those games are kind of hard to watch sometimes. They're fucking early in the morning. I know you guys have probably talked about it, but if you're trying to watch them live, yeah, I I, I do it. I do it most of the time. I can't get but up for those sometimes I can't. 430 games. Yeah, but see those. I saw those ones I'm You're talking not supposed about. to get up for those because you ain't supposed to be asleep. Ah. You're supposed to stay up all night. Yeah. Yeah, that's where nah. you're doing it wrong. The World Cup was fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie. The World, World Cup, Cup, waking up early for that was actually, mm-hmm. I actually enjoyed it. I was like, fuck, yeah, I get to wake up early, have uh-huh. a couple beers early in the fucking morning, and not be judged because it's the World Cup. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. Did you watch them in your house? A uh, couple of them. Uh-huh. Still regular ones, but then the ones like the Mexico one, obviously, I had to get mm-hmm. a little bit more of a vibe. And, you know, yeah. I went to a bar. It was, Which bar time. did you go to? Uh, just a regular down the street bar, hole mm-hmm. in the wall type of shit. What's the name of it? Huh? What's, what's the name? Big Fish. Big fish. That's yeah. just like okay. it's a regular it's curious. on the wall. Yeah, that's curious. Cool. Yeah, I mean, Ian, you and I watched a lot of those yeah. games together, and, and we were just tired and irritable yeah. <laughs> <laughs> together. <laughs> we would get to the bar before the bar was open. Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes and, you had to. There'd yeah. be a line out the door at five yeah. five in the morning. Yeah. The more the World Cup went on, then motherfuckers start invading your space. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, God bless everybody that likes yeah. it. You get to the finals, like mm. I'm a Croatia fan now. It's yeah. like, are you, do you even know where that is on the map? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard the girl. I heard this girl say the craziest thing. I'm watching the Champions League, just at a, at, at, at just at, at a BJ's, at a BJ's restaurant, I'm watching the mm-hmm. game. And this girl's like, "Well, what are you watching?" I'm like, "Oh, can you put that?" Because I asked them for the noise, so I can hear a little bit of it. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, "Okay, we don't really do it for like big, like regular events." I'm like, okay. She yeah. called a World a regular Cup. event to to them. They'll put football on, and then I was like, like, what's a regular event? And she's like, oh, we'll do it for the World Cup. I love the World Cup, and I'm just sitting there. I was like, this is maybe not as great just because it's not every four hour, four years, but these t- teams are technically better than the World Cup teams because they play every time. But I'm just sitting there. And I'm like, typical what, what typical game? American response. It yeah. was just I just saying I only like soccer during the World Cup, which is like, you're missing four years of some good shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a the, the, the problem with soccer is that it wasn't invented in America. Yeah, and that's the that's the issue. But mm-hmm. now that we finished bragging about Man U and <laughs> Champions League, uh, Chelsea. Thank you for burying uh, <laughs> this game so far in the lineup of <laughs> of reports. I mean, you you guys buried it with your performances. Yeah, well, it was it was like we were, it was like we were talking <laughs> your about position it. in the table. It was like we were talking about with Tottenham. Like you mm-hmm. got to come out, you know, all guns blazing at the beginning, and I don't think they quite did that. And uh, and Wolves capitalized, but uh, but They're ha- dangerous man. Yeah, but uh, but Hazard came, you know came through in the end yeah. and uh, made a great goal. I don't think he scored in a little while. Uh, yeah, but it's you know it's been the uh, the Courtois you know uh, who else has been scoring a lot Willian uh, era for a little bit. And what's his name from uh, what's his name from uh, Hudson Odoi? Nah, your boy from Barcelona scored a dope one recently. Oh shoot! Oh, um, against when they played Arsenal, I think when you guys played Arsenal, did you guys beat Arsenal recently? Yeah, they did. They yeah. beat they beat Arsenal. I think. Or was it? Yeah, I forgot who you played. Yeah, not for, I, I, yeah, it's been a, but yeah, it was good for Hazard to score, you know, and uh, and 
So does, Tottenham, uh, when you play Tottenham. Yeah, to help yeah. save the game. Uh, it was good to see Emerson playing uh, at – at defense, mm-hmm. I'm just not a big Marcus Alonso fan. I feel I feel like he's there, there's there's some guys who are just like who look like you know I know a lot of guys in you know, I'm not I'm attracted to women, but the, most <laughs> of the guys who play soccer are just are just handsome dudes. That's true. But, but some guys are like too handsome. They're like pretty boys, and Marcus Alonso is one of those dudes. Oh, and, I, and I'm just like you, you can't be you can't he's, be a, you can't be, you can't act like a pretty boy when you're playing in the Premier League. It's a rough game. These guys are physical. He does sometimes play like he has a Beyonce windblower going through his hair. Yeah, just sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but Emerson was doing a good job, and uh, but yeah, you can't you can't sleep on the team that's just that's ranked just below you. Even though you got a thirteen point lead on them, we're not playing for six. Do you still have a thirteen point? Yeah. Yeah, it's like you mm. can't. We're not playing for six. We're playing to get back in the Champions League. Well, you won your. Europa League games. You have a good chance of winning Europa League. I think so, but I mean, I think you know, you gotta, you gotta have higher aspirations than just you know doing well in the Europa League. Yeah, I mean, Chelsea fans do. We'll see what happens to Sari. I, I I think he's been coaching better lately, but but a draw with Wolves does not sit well with where he's trying to take team. The only good thing about it is that Hazard, a player that he's trying to push more, yeah, scored at the end, and they kept their team spirit. So it's like, you know, in a game where you're supposed to win, mm-hmm. when you go down, when yeah. you tie it, it kind of feels like a win. It feels like a win, but it's yeah. like, it's not, it's not a win, guys. No, it's not. I, I will say uh, I'm not a fan of Sari's attitude, like when he doesn't get the result he wants like right, after, after the game. What do you do? No, and he, he man, like he, he always walks, he walks towards the locker room tunnel, like that tunnel, acting like if he doesn't win he walks like he's not going to shake the coach's hand. But he didn't shake uh, Peps. He didn't shake Peps. Uh, and I feel like he didn't shake someone else's hand. I don't remember who it was, but like, it's like, dude. Yeah, you got to shake hands. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you lost. I mean, you tied. It's not, you, you You didn't get the result you wanted, but like, you can't, can't be an old baby about it. I mean, I don't want to shake. I, to be honest, if I was a coach and they made it optional, I probably wouldn't shake people's hands when i won yeah i mean it's uh, for me like i don't i don't harp on like sportsman like conduct too much mm-hmm. i just i think that's a reasonable thing to do like you can be enemies once you know from minute zero to minute 90 but after it it's like you know who gives a shit it's like, i mean the world has changed like people are like there is like when man U, chelsea players and arsenal players from back in the day like even when they played for England, they sat at different tables and they weren't friends. And they'd say that about Charles Barkley and them guys talk about that in basketball, how everybody's friends now. And it's right. different. Now even they got coaches like Klopp, they'll walk on a field and shake everybody's hands, including the officials that might have screwed them over in the game and other two opposing so it's 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 a, it's a lot different now, but yeah. yeah, sorry, should shake hands, but I mean you're all you're all making you're all making a buttload of money. What do you? Yeah, yeah, big what picture. You, what do you got to complain about? <laughs> but I think I don't think you should be forced to shake hands. I'm not saying. I mean, it's, it I, should I, just I, be. A, I mean, they're grown men. I mean, I mean, kids. That's fine. Make them shake hands every when they win or no lose. separate water fountains, man. Even even <laughs> even me. The segregation's I would. <laughs> over, bro. So shake hands. I'm you know, gonna bust I, bust those handshakes. Onto the field, into the other team. I think I think it's just yeah. good manners because I mean, at a certain point, these the, the guys who are playing, they're they're not they're not old dudes. They're, you know, they're they're twenty year old dudes. You should shake hands because overall, you're getting the money, like you said. Yeah. And if something happens to the coach, like say a tragic accident that gets killed, you'll remember, fuck, I didn't shake his hand. Okay. Then you'll that. be like, yeah, what am what? I was an idiot for that. Unless yeah. you really hated the person, like shit, I'm glad I didn't shake that motherfucker's hand. Yeah, I mean, if, I mean, if the yeah, if the coaches attacked each other, then yeah, they probably shouldn't. You know, maybe they should. What about players? But Play, players should players should. It's shake a hands. game. Yeah. It's a game, man. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, you get paid a million dollars. You can shake someone's hand. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, this isn't. This isn't like kneeling for the national anthem. Yeah. I'm not even thinking it's for like, the, for the money. It's just like it's a game. If we take a lot less shit in this world, serious. Yeah. It would be better. So yeah, I, I'm you, thinking that. Yeah, and you and you can have the you can have those goals. You can have those dreams of like you know, winning the Champions League, winning your your league, winning just that game. But if you didn't do it, I mean that's that's not it's no one's fault but your own. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, has a yeah. 
He he's, he's had a hard time dealing with losing. Yeah, he's just chewing on cigarettes all day. Yeah, <laughs> that's fucking weird, man. So we go to Wolverhampton Wonders. They're seventh. They got how many points? Go back up, forty-four. And like we said, they put in a, a good shift against you guys. They 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 they, 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 they get their shape. Yep. They absorb pressure. Yep. And they counter, and that's what they did to you. Yeah. And and until the, until you guys put the more pressure on them and and broke them and got that net. Yeah, goal. the second half was uh, definitely a much better game for for Chelsea. They definitely kicked it up a notch. Mm-hmm. And then Watford, what did Watford? They played this was a Man City. Yeah, they lost to Man City. And Man City just took control from yeah. pretty much beginning to end. Sterling got the three. West Ham, that was a shock. West Ham. Yeah, they lost their game, right? Yeah, they lost to to Cardiff. Team Cardiff. Slide down to. It was like, <laughs> come on, West Ham. <laughs> come on, West Ham. What are you doing? <laughs> like the, the blowing too many bubbles. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> they had lost three in a row already. Right, and they and it, even though they got the three points, they're still in the relegation zone. That's who you lost to. They, yeah, they I mean, couldn't climb out. Cru- That's a, crucial three, though. I mean, if they win again. Yeah, they, I mean they could, and yeah, Burnley, Burnley and Southampton lose. I mean, then they're they're out of they're safe out of the mm-hmm. relegation zone. The other two are fucked, right? Mm-hmm. And we didn't talk <laughs> about how Southampton. We we talked like we'll, we'll get to it, but good, good win for them. Yeah. All right. So then, who's next? So West Ham. They, yeah, West Ham is like, you, you got a good team over there. I mean, you're not gonna get relegated, but. You, sh- yeah, you should you should do Cardiff needed that more than they did. So maybe yeah. that's where that's where yeah, that think, came from. I think Pellegrini was definitely disappointed. I mean, he's kind of rocked that disappointed face mm. a lot of the season. No, that's so, how he smiles. That's <laughs> his face. He and Unai He wasn't built to be pleasant. <laughs> you know I mean, he's he's just been he's been through a lot of shit. I mean, he and he They and, call it resting Pellegrini face. That's <laughs> how <laughs> <laughs> he and Unai Emery are like two sides of the same coin. Yeah, yeah. You know, they both like they both were vampires in a past life. Yeah, <laughs> and Claude Puel was definitely a vampire, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't, I don't know what it is about being a soccer coach that just like ages people. It's like being a president. Yeah, I guess so. There's <laughs> a lot, of pre- lo- lot of pressure, a lot of money going around. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, Pellegrini yeah, he has a. Yeah, those definitely. Yeah, those coaches don't live like those players. Like I know that those coaches are making you know good money too, but like there's like a I don't know there's not as much of a, a lust for life <laughs> <laughs> seen in a coach <laughs> coach's face. There's a lot of stress. Yeah, can't fuck up a lot. Yeah. Nah, man. And then Leicester, they got Brandon Rogers as their coach, and they they played Fulham, who has Scott Parker as their coach. Right. And uh, uh, Scott Parker lost last week. But and he lost this week against Brendan Rodgers, who gets his first win as Leicester coach. Yep. And three one. All right. All right, Brendan. Yeah. yeah, I mean we'll see. I mean, I remember watching that uh that documentary series where when uh, he was coaching Liverpool. Mm-hmm. It was just uh it was a rough go for yeah. him. It was not, I mean it was not a good time for Liverpool and No, he 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 came second, he almost won the league. And yeah. then afterwards, you know. Yeah. He he can coach, but he's a He's an egotistical <laughs> maniac, and he wants all the credit. And I don't know if he'll a staff will stick around with him through yeah. that. But he's been decently successful. Yeah, and he, was, he wants to be up there. Yeah, and he was doing well at Celtic. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they they had a rough go in the Europa League. Well, fans are pissed at him for leaving. They were they were they were on the verge of winning the treble, and uh, he just leaves mid season to take a you're at the top of the the Scottish table, and mm-hmm. you just leave mid season. To join a team that's tenth in the Premiership. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe that's that's what he's got his eye on. Yeah, he does. It's, I mean, yeah. but be, I was saying last he's gonna week, be in the he's gonna be in the limelight more. Yeah, that's he's, what he wants. He's gonna be on TV more. It's all about him. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I don't I don't know if I'd be hard pressed to turn down a Premier League deal as a coach. Those are hard to come by. I mean, some people are saying just finish the end of the season. Yeah. Because he swears how the Celtics is his childhood team. Oh. You know? Oh, so if he, if he built it up like that. Oh, he should have finished then. If, you're, if yeah. that's something you say. Yeah. yeah. He, he he romanced, made promises, smashed, and then bounced. And especially if you're in first place. Mm-hmm. You basically got it 
in the pocket and I mean yeah take the trophy yeah, like take first place trophy. or close yeah and then if you do get first place you're gonna be looked at as a guy who actually got first place in something like in one more yeah I mean he's done it two years in a yeah, row but, been but third just one do three yeah yeah, yeah cement so yourself yeah don't now make it look those fans will never like him and you can never go back oh, to that yeah, place you can't go back you know some LeBron like shit, if shit you can't gets go back bad to Cleveland well he 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 did mm? he did go back Again, he, he can't go back. Like that's it. Once he could, when we became a Laker fan, I don't like a lot of Cleveland fans. Like weren't there? Like, it is. Hmm? There it is. He won them a championship. There's, there's nothing beats that. He got that's them something right. no one, no one could yeah. give them. No one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's just, yeah. And you have deeper problems if you can't forgive LeBron for leaving to the Lakers. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. For sure. Okay. So, see, so yeah, Lester's at uh. This was a tenth, and then Everton. They lost. They oh man, Whew. they were leading. Let me see who it was. They were leading Newcastle. You know, yeah. two nothing. Your Everton <laughs> and spent so much money. They, they they you put up a fight last week against Liverpool, got a draw, yeah. and if you all you gotta do is bring that same effort. Yep. But and you brought it for the first two goals. Yeah. And then you lose three two. Yeah. To so Newcastle, who is like around the relegation zone most of this season, they they're getting better now. Yeah. And like with results like these, yeah, results like with playing Everton. Yeah. You know, you that. you two can get three. <laughs> and yeah, so now they're pretty uh they're pretty close to each other in the table. Yeah. I I don't think Marco Silva is gonna keep that job. Not mm. they might he'll keep it to the end of the season. No. Yeah, they might go with someone new next season. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of shit that needs to be changed over there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Bournemouth twelfth. Oh, you, what were you gonna say? No, 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 no. I was, um, yeah. Bor- so Bournemouth's a twelfth. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Bournemouth. Uh, I mean, they've had a they've had a rough go of it. They, uh, but they sque- they squeezed a win out. They squeezed a win out because they've had three losses and a draw, and now they get a win. Well, yeah, they and they're playing Huddersfield. But and then, yeah, that's like. If you so give me something, if, yeah, like you just had three losses and a draw, and you look above the horizon, and you see Huddersfield. That's your mirage in the <laughs> desert. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're like this, th- we gonna get some water out of this. Yeah. This, yeah. And they got, they 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 drank it up. They yeah, they popped all the water bottles, <laughs> and got maximum three points out of that. And uh, Newcastle, we just discussed them. Crystal Palace, they you know, they, Crystal Palace. Yeah, I mean they they had a tough game against uh, against Brighton. Yeah, Brighton always a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. Well, so is Crystal Palace. I mean, you know, they, those are teams not to be taken lightly. And I mean, they're. You know, but right. you would think Crystal Palace is better. You would think. I think. I think Crystal Palace has done more astonishing things this season, but they've also lost some games they should have won. Yeah, they do that, and this is, I can't even Brighton hold. <sighs> It's like you can beat them, but they can fuck you up. Yeah, I mean Glenn Murray's, uh, you know, a, a pretty powerful forward, and he he scored on his like his first touch that game. Mm-hmm. It's, and it's just a big, a good clear, and that Does he scored a Glenn Murray goal. Yeah, he scored a Glenn Murray goal. Yeah, I mean, and, and talk talk about the king of ugly goals. I mean, <laughs> like someone that Lukaku oh, yeah. should aspire <laughs> to to like watch on tape yeah. more. Like he he scores all Lukaku. Uh, ugly goals. Yeah, I yeah. mean, like, yeah, I don't know who coached Glenn Murray when he's young, but that person told him was like, I don't care if you score with your balls, just like, <laughs> just get it in there. <laughs> yeah, you score like an elementary school student. Like, I think, I think, but he as a striker, that's kind of your main job. That's just your job. Score, just yeah. fucking put it in the net. Yeah, it's not. It's just you know, you never. I mean, he's 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 doing as much as he can with the ability that he has. So God bless yeah. Glenn Murray. Yeah, he's sure. on the perfect team for him, and. uh yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, Crystal Palace gets some cool players coming through, like you know, Batshuayi coming, you know, they got Batshuayi, yeah, yeah, and I think him and you know him and Zaha are you know, those are the guys that you know. Chris but they're stacked compared to Brighton Hove. Yeah, they get Benteke, Benteke. I it, I, I, I'm I'm kind of done with Benteke. I, I, they got that guy Juan Bissaka. Uh, I feel you. I'm 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 done with it. They got Juan Bissaka. They got, you know. Yeah. They, for Brighton Hove is just well coached, determined. Yeah, Chris Heaton does a great job. Chris Heaton's a great coach to do what he does with those. It's no thrills. Yeah. No thrills. Just get it done. 
Yeah, it's that it's that it's that frosted flakes with no tiger on the box. <laughs> you know? It's just like a cat with stripes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cat They're <with> good. <laughs> yeah. Cat with stripes enlarged. <laughs> yeah. That's who Brighton Hove is, man. They'll do the job. <laughs> yeah, they'll do the job. <laughs> You I, know? I think Batshuayi and Zaha. They get soggy before the milk gets on them. You <laughs> <Yes>. know, <laughs> Chris Molling Chris Molling should watch Batshuayi and Zaha. I'd be like, oh, that's how I got to look. That's how my running, hair running with my hair. <laughs> oh, that's how I look. I should cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Southampton, great win. Great win against, against Arsenal. You're 16th. You got 30 mm -hmm. points. Strong. Burnley. Uh, you lost three in a row. You were in a good form. And now, <laughs> what the fuck? So Burnley is turning into early this year, Burnley again. And now you're right above the relegation zone, a team that finished seventh in a Europa League spot last season. Yep. Seventh or sixth, I think. But the Europa League spot. Yep. They're above Cardiff. Yeah. So, Crazy. Yeah. And that coach was considered for like other jobs. Oh, uh, Sean know? Dyche. Sean Dyche, yeah. But uh, hey, fuck it. We'll see. We'll yeah. We'll see. If this is this is an interesting battle because I I like Sean Dyche. Southampton is my homeboy's lead team, and uh, my cousin plays for Cardiff. So I, I'm kind of in, interested. Yeah. No. It's at the a, bottom of the table. It'll be a tough battle because it's between it's between those three teams. Honestly, unless um, unless Crystal Palace and Brighton have a, a real rough go of it the next to end the season. How many games left? This is third. It's eight games left. Eight games. So for they're some not people, they're not safe. Up to, up to fourteenth. Up to thirteenth. I mean, to be fair, Brighton has thirty three with a game in hand. You know, so they you know they got to they have a, they make that game in hand is against Chelsea. Yeah. So all right. Well, they're at thirty three. And yeah. uh, well, the other two are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> they have no chance. There's more. They could have got more points in six games than they got. On there. Look at look at Fulham. Pretty consistent. <laughs> consistent. Yeah. It's just red. It's they're 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 bloods. Yeah, they're bloods. They're bloods. Yeah. Bloods. Yeah. yeah. They're, uh, Fulham. Fulham. They're, they're bloods. I, I mean, I've, I've been to Craven Cottage. I mean, it's uh, a. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's a. Uh, they wear red bottoms. These are blood <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nineteen. Seventeen points out of thirteen games. You don't. You don't even have the amount of points of games. Oof. Yeah, yeah, rough. Lot. And you can get three points from a win. Well, it, from one game, thirty-eight's that magic number that you need to have to like be yeah. cert certain you're going to stay in the league. Uh, so there's eight games left. Eight times three is twenty-four. And if you add twenty-four to seventeen, that'll give you uh, forty-one. So Fulham definitely has to win seven of their eight games. Uh, Come on, Fulham. You got a shot. <laughs> Cardinal yeah. Stu's math. Yeah. You got a shot. They still in this. Who counted them out? <laughs> uh, and uh, Huddersfield, if they so, if they, so they have to win how, all. How much is eight times? Three. It's 24. So for Huddersfield, they have to win all eight of their games to stay in. Damn. Nah, they still go down. 24 plus 14. 38. That's the magic Shit, number. That is crazy. So we, you know, I apologize. I've been counting Huddersfield out. All yeah. they got to do is win eight games in a row. Still got time. <laughs> oh, still, shit. Still got do, time. Do they know math down there? Because I think they gave up ahead of time. I think they have a statistician on staff. Uh, is he telling them? I, I think he's just saying, hey, can you go do your best. Is this like the <laughs> your best? <laughs> <laughs> go, give, go leave it all out on the field. Man, you got a negative statistician. <laughs> you, he just want to, you know. Just pull up, uh, before we go, the, the Champions League games that are Tuesday and and let's just see Tuesday and Wednesday. What's coming up? I think, uh, yeah, we got Man City playing Schalke at home. No, I give that to Man City. Yeah, I could s unless, unless Schalke does something, you know, something nah, astonishing. Nah, Pep, Pep is just too, too disciplined. Yeah. That like that's not gonna happen. But he, Juventus is down up there. To Atletico Madrid, so Ronaldo might not get through, and yeah, and then and then if they don't get through, Juventus doesn't get through, then uh, Buffon won't feel so bad. Yeah, because <laughs> he's like at least he's because now he's like I could have stayed at Juventus. Yeah, but now if they lose, he'll be like, uh, it's ah, same bullshit. Yeah, same shit, same same round, just a week later. Yep, fuck it. Which one you watching? Uh, tomorrow, 
Yeah, if you had a one TV, one TV, no iPhone, no nothing. Man, like old school day. Uh, I, I guess, I like. I just like watching Man City. There's just attractive football, but the 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 most intriguing thing is probably Juventus Atletico. But yeah. I don't want to see two defensive teams try to attack. Right. Or one de- Atletico is definitely going to defend because they got the two goal lead. Yeah. And uh, Juventus, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I think we'll so uh, see the Real Ando play. I'd, I'd watch that one. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think Wednesday's games are far more exciting. I mean, both. You know, both are at nil nil aggregate, uh-huh. and um, I mean, I think Barca has a better, you know, better sh- shot of pulling it out against Lyon. But the, you know, Bayern versus Liverpool. I, mean, I think that's anybody's game. I think that's Liverpool can win that. Okay, yeah. as a Liverpool fan, you think they're thinking about the Premier League or anything like that? That's where. That's another thing I was saying. Like they got to play to win the whole thing, right? To win both of them. Yeah, 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 right. That's what I'm saying. You got to win to win both. Of yeah. them. You, you're in the chance to win both of them. Don't just. Well, Liverpool only has to tie, at at Bayern, because of the away goal. Yeah. Advantage. If they tie like one one. Yeah. They're through. Yeah. One one two. two so th- the advantage Liverpool base. I think they're a better team than Bayern, mm-hmm. and because of the away goal advantage, that's why I'm going with them. Yeah. Like they did what they had to do at home. Zero zero is perfect. That was a really intense game. One of the best zero zero games I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's a handsome zero zero game. Yeah, it was lit. A lot of action, no goals. Yeah. So, you know, Liverpool, sh- with the, you know, the three we were talking about before, mm-hmm. you know, they could, they could, they could, they could, they could draw a drop of blood or two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I just don't know if, unless everyone at, I think everyone who's playing at Bayern is like healthy and turning on the juice. Like if Lewandowski's on his game and Muller's on his game and Muller just got dropped from the German national team. Oh really? Yeah, he's no no longer the further plans. Neither is their uh, their the is it what's the, the what's the black defender? Oh um, uh, Jerome. Uh, yeah, Boateng. Boateng dropped. Are uh, those guys just too old now? The Joachim Lowe just said they're no longer in my plans. Wow. And somebody else, that play, yeah. Yogi loves. Uh, I, th- I mean, he's got a history of that. I mean, you know, Gutsa won the world. No, but Cup they're old them. though. Yeah, and and then all of a sudden he's just like, I got nothing for you. But Gutsa <laughs> did fall off for a second. True, he did fall off for a second. I think he's back. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys got anything? Anything else you want to say about this? No, I mean, who I'm you who you want for Bayern Liverpool? I I I'd like to see Liverpool, you know, win it. I th- I mean I think especially after how far they went last year I I'd love to see them you know go all the way again. Mm-hmm. I mean if you know if Chelsea can't do it I think it's like I think it'd be cool to see an English team win it again. Right. Especially after you know this you know uh, Real drought. All right. And what about you? On all these I uh, could really care less on all these games I just <laughs> really want <laughs> Barcelona honest. to lose. You just want what? Barcelona to lose. Oh, yeah. And then I do want, I'm a Cristiano fan, so I do want him to do pretty good in Juventus. All right. And which game would you watch tomorrow? Uh, the Juventus one, probably. Right. And why you, why you want Barcelona to lose? I can't stand him. You I, can't? Nah, I'm not. Not attracted to that style nah. of attractive football? Yeah, I don't like Messi. You, you don't like him? Nah. I mean, he's cool. I'm not hating on him, but I'm more of a Cristiano you're fan. Sure? So you're you know not how hating it is. on him? Huh? You no, he's a great player. I'm not that guy who says, oh, he sucks, Cristiano's bad. It, dude, they're all great players. They're you could like them both. And it's uh, like do you like it's like do you like Monet or do you like Picasso? It's like it's you, know, you gotta you gotta pick one usually. You do for me and for me, nah, yeah, you do. As I I, it's a I don't like the Rolling Stones or the Beatles. <laughs> 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 Choose both. <laughs> <laughs> Hate on everybody. Yeah, but I, I gotta pick Juventus on that one. Liverpool, Ajax. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, Stu? Calling oh, yeah. it. Uh, you got anything you want to plug? Uh yeah, you can um you can f- uh this is dropping tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll okay. put it up tonight. Okay, great. So uh yeah, you can follow me on right after Brody's uh, funeral memorial for sure. Uh, I'm gonna be you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Stuart B Thompson. That's uh, Stuart with a U. Uh, you can also follow my podcast, the Late Night Podcast with Stuart and Luke. Uh, it's a podcast on my late night talk show. We do uh, live shows at the Improv every month. Next one's on March 23rd. That's Saturday at 11 p.m at the Hollywood Improv Lab. Uh, but yeah, the, the Twitter and Instagram handle is the L8 Night Show on Twitter and Instagram. Shit, I want you to do my outro. That was smooth. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Keeping <laughs> it smooth. <laughs>
Yeah, what you got? Uh, just follow me on uh, Extreme Marks the Spot on Instagram. Um, I also do a Tinfoil podcast with uh, Sam Tripley, the man. And um, we're doing a show out of New Jersey. We're almost sold out. So if you're, you're out there in New Jersey and Morris Plains, hit it up. How long have you been doing comedy? I've done like four or five times, honestly. You went on that Brody show the other night? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I've just, uh, I work with There's George. a guy that looks like you that went oh, on. Oh, maybe. You yeah. know George Fries? Yeah, oh, yeah, I know I've George. Just, I've done a couple shows with him. Yeah. I, do, I do produce his podcast, so oh, wow. he's done a couple like um, like uh, podcast comedy stuff. Mm -hmm. So people be like, "Oh, can that producer go on?" So that's how I kind of just kind of went on there, mm -hmm. did it. How was it? Part of the world. Yeah. How was it? It was cool. It was fun. Yeah. It was actually like um, kind of like uh, who says it? Uh, Bill Burr. He says when they're your fans, it's kind of a home game. Uh -huh. It felt good because I mean it wasn't random ass people george's podcast is yeah. doing real good yeah oh it is it's doing pretty good we're, we're doing good so what is he talking about on this podcast yeah, he's he's a fucking wow he's a he's a, he's a, he's wow a dj home. at a strip club it's all he's got his stripper girls coming over to the fucking podcast show how come i'm never a guest uh, I'll, I'll talk to him <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah talk to him <laughs> yeah he just has I'll, I'll come there that day i mean it's crazy there's no strippers today <laughs> just all dudes Sh should have been here last week yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. usually that's, what that's, happens that's people always expect life. something they're like oh that <laughs> was last week yeah <laughs> it's always last week <laughs> all right so for me uh I'm going to put my website back up. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. That's all I do is call GoDaddy. I already paid the money. And it just, so this is terrible. Follow me on Instagram at Ian Edwards Comic and, and on Twitter at Ian Edwards Comic. And I'll let you know of my upcoming shows. And I will get my website up. And you, my album, 100% Half Ass, is also available at iTunes, Spotify and cd baby and other places and uh what else and my one hour special will be coming out soon it's produced by all things comedy had a great time and uh fellas y'all ready to go to this funeral <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah let's go have some fun yeah man and uh, you know you no know, honor of brody aaron what's up man thank you is there a time limit we supposed to be doing this thing with Oh, uh, so did we run into it? No, we're good. Oh, okay, cool. All right. All right, thanks, Aaron. I really appreciate it. Good looking out every week. And uh, that's Aaron Brungrod. My name is Ian Edwards. Keep the people that hit me up and leave messages about the podcast. And thank you. Appreciate that. And we're just going to keep getting better and better. And um, Bobby Lee, congrats, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought him up more. He, he, he would have been.